We're now going to look at the double interlock sprinkler system. And similar to a dry valve, the water comes up from the main riser from down below and immediately comes into a valve called a butterfly valve. This is a butterfly valve. When you see a, a indicator like this on the outside and the valve to the side, this is what they call a butterfly valve. And it's also a supervised butterfly valve in that it has wires coming out of it, goes to an alarm panel. If for some reason anyone changes the valve, turns it or close it off, it'll automatically send a supervisory or trouble alarm to the alarm panel. It will not give you a full fire alarm and dispatch the fire department. It'll give you a supervisory alarm saying that there's system problem. So this also allows you to maintain the system above without changing um, your compressor and water and all that kind of uh, items within there. It isolates uh, the system from here forward. So water comes up to this specialized dry valve and at this point here water is down here and air pressure is up here. As I said it's a specialized dry valve, a little bit different than the other dry valve that uh, we looked at in this series. Um, it's a specialized one. When you look at the system you'll see piping coming out both below, below and above this center line. Any of the piping or the valves that come out in the bottom half of this are going to be water. Water's coming up to this point and therefore this gauge here is reading water pressure at about 50 pounds per square inch. At the same time, if you follow this up, there's piping that comes out of the top side of this and that is now reading air pressure. A compressor is feeding this system maintaining air pressure. It's important to note that at any point if there's an air leak, or the compressor malfunctions and the pressure runs down, it will not automatically start flowing water. All it'll do is it'll give you a supervisory alarm again saying low air pressure. There's a pressure switch behind here that modifies the pressure. If any point that pressure goes too high or too low, it's going to notify the alarm, send an alarm, a supervisory saying we've got problem within the system and you need to get a qualified service person to come out here and work on it. So this is in fact um, the air pressure up above. The way this system works is that it's called a double interlock system. The double interlock means it, it takes two different actions in order to ultimately flow water at a sprinkler head. The first action is a device of some sort. It could be a heat detector, could be a smoke detector um, out in the field and what it does is it sends a signal back to a controller and then ultimately back to the solenoid in the back that's hooked up to this valve and this solenoid when that's tripped says I better open up get rid of the air and bring water up to the system. So activation of a smoke or a heat detector depending on the building will automatically tell this dry valve to open up and allow water to come out. That alone does not flow water into your system. The double side of things that would be a single detector check. If you had a double interlock system, the double interlock requires two actions. That second action is that the sprinkler head still has to fuse. You still need heat at that single head to fuse and allow the water to come out. So an activation of a device will tell the solenoid, better go ahead and charge the system, but no water is coming out until actually that head releases and allows water to come out. So it takes two actions in order to flow any kind of water. Typically you'll see these in high hazard rooms, maybe a computer room or some high storage area where you want to absolutely make sure there's no false activations whatsoever. The piping from here then goes up and then there's another valve here. There's a valve on the top and there's a valve on the bottom and that's designed to work within the system here to isolate this valve so you can work on any of this without affecting the rest of the building. So when you look at the system when you come up you're going to look at your valves. The lower half valves are going to show you water pressure. The upper valves are going to show you air pressure. The way the system activates and lets you know for a full fire alarm is a pressure switch. So this pressure switch here notifies the alarm panel that there's a change in pressure and that will ultimately lead back to the alarm panel and call for a full fire alarm. Unlike a supervisory alarm which is just saying you have system trouble. This in effect will give you a full fire alarm. The alarms will go off within the building, notify the fire department and your AV devices will all be activated. It's important to note that at any point if this dry valve activates for any reason 
that you need to get a licensed contractor out here to reset that. It's a specialized piece of equipment, not something that anyone can do without proper training and, and as I mentioned, licensing. So you want to make sure you get a licensed contractor out to take care of that. The last thing that you would want is water to be left in the system. So visualizing to make sure all the valves are open, that you've got pressure on the system, um, is really the important part of this. And that's why they're tested annually, to make sure all of this is in working order. Please visit firesprinklertesting.org for more information.